Hello everyone and welcome back to yet again another Friday new product post. I am back in town so unfortunately you have to put up with me for a while. We've got a couple new products to talk about and an interesting little surprise. So let's look at the products for this week. So first up we've got the 4x4 driver shield. And this is a very interesting and very unique product. It is a shield for an Arduino and really what it is is a MOSFET driver shield. It's got four of these big suckers on here, um, comes with this DB25 connector that plugs in there, um, comes with some headers that you can solder on, and then this little right angle guy like that. The nice thing about this is it does come as a kit, so it comes with everything you need, but if you don't want to solder all this stuff on, you can just use it as it is right there. Um, now let me explain some of the features of this guy. In the middle we have the DB25 connector and that will be for the outputs. Um, the thing has two shift registers. These are the 74AHCT5958 bit shift registers. So the beauty of those is it allows you to stack multiples of these up. You can actually stack up to 25 of these boards giving you 400 channels a single board has 16 channels, hence the 4x4. So a single board is good for 5 amps at 30 volts for each one of these channels. I will hesitate to say that I'm not sure if the traces on this board can handle 5 amps per, but at the very least these ICs are rated for that. So it's a pretty interesting little board if you need to control a lot of different things and don't want to do it with relays or whatever else. You can get a lot of channels in a very small, very compact board, and then the ability to stack them up. And I think they say you only use like four digital pins, so all your PWMs are free, everything else is free. You don't have to use a ton of pins to control a lot of different things. So if you want to control stuff and um, are looking to use some MOSFETs, check out this guy, the 4x4 driver shield. So here we have a very interesting product. Um, this is may be familiar to some of you. Um, if anyone here has ever cracked open a GoPro, this might look very familiar to you. I actually had a GoPro that broke and I opened it up to see if I could fix it and it looks a little bit like this on the inside. The arrangement's a little bit different, but the camera assembly and a couple of the other things look very familiar. This is actually not a GoPro. This is called the Hack HD. And the Hack HD is, for all intents and purposes, basically a development version of a GoPro. Um, it is the full 1080p. It has pretty much the same options and same um, specifications and functions as a GoPro, except for it comes without the case in just this bare board. So the cool thing about this board is it actually has these um, terminal strips, these you know screw terminal strips at the end, and you can put things like an LED on it, a button, um, you can even talk to it with an Arduino or your favorite microcontroller. And so this is really hackable. You can have this set up with an Arduino to do like an intervalometer to take pictures at set periods of times, to do time lapses. You could um, do time lapse videos with it. You could set up as like a game camera, you know, set up in the woods and when motion is detected it'll start recording, whatever. Um, it's basically just a hackable version of a GoPro, which is very neat. Now, I was out of town um, for the past week and a half on vacation, and all these kind of events happened together quite nicely. When I was gone, everyone decided to play a little prank on me. As you know, I play a lot of pranks on Dave here in the product videos, and everyone has said, you know, Dave needs to get you back, and well, he got me back. Um, I actually came back to not having an office. It was completely drywalled over and I didn't even have a door. It was just a solid continuous wall. And so I actually had to break into my office and break through the drywall to get into my office. And we recorded it with um, a couple different cameras, a couple GoPros, and actually this camera. So you can see the footage that we took with this camera of me breaking into my office. <laughs> what are you doing? There's never been a door there. 
Really? <laughs> the door <laughs> We thought you were gonna take this really bad. <laughs> I thought the monitors were just obstructing the doorway. I'm like, well, the doorway is wide. <laughs> so my office Don't still ruin exists, that. right? Don't ruin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just. Oh, there's. <laughs> it was all Stoneman, bro. <laughs> you know I love you. <laughs> So there you have it. As you can tell, the video out of this is very comparable um, to a GoPro. Um, the other camera that you were seeing was a um, Nikon DSLR, so you know a little bit different quality there, but this is very, very, very similar to a GoPro in quality. And you can see some other videos and some other examples on the product page to give you an idea just what the video quality is like. But it is quite nice, and you know, for the price and for the package and for the arrangement, this is a really great little product. So there you have it. Um, we just got the Hack HD and the 4x4 driver shield this week. We do have more products on the website, so go ahead and check out the rest of the new product post. Um, we'll see you again next week with even more new products, and thanks for watching.